<laughs> no, I'm crazy for this this fat. Oh, fat. I ate breakfast though. Is that no why it's fat? <clears throat> Someone came <clears throat> like today is the first of September twenty twenty two. Uh, the two like on the thirtieth of August. Someone came to knocked on the door I, I was lying I, I was sleeping or something I think in the evening I heard this knock on the door maybe I was in my room just uh, I don't know I'm sitting on the chair or something uh, using the computer I heard this knock and I'm like uh, and no one else was at home because my brother and they're at the hospital <laughs> uh, because uh, they're visiting my mom my mom seems to be doing better yeah um, so I heard this knock and I'm like, oh, who could it be? I'm not going to answer that door. I don't want to talk to people. I don't want to answer the door. And I'm like, uh, so I just ignored it. And then I heard the bell ring and I'm like, I'm going to have to answer this. I just waited and I decided, okay, fuck it. Let me just go, go on there. Maybe, I don't know why I decided to go. I think I thought, well actually I don't know, I just got up and I just went and I opened the door and no one was there, but I could see like like down the, the lawn, someone, oh this, this person, okay they turned back and they started walking up towards the, and, and when, when they started walking up towards the, you know, the front porch, I just sort of Locked my <laughs> the, the security gate. I was like, "Who are you? What What do you want?" Um, I, I didn't say that, but but then they, they then they started uh, asking me like, um, I don't know what exactly they said, but what what they ended up telling me was that they lost their Apple AirPod, like the you know those AirPods things, and they're saying that um, they're saying that their uh phone is saying that it's it's you know how you use the there's a way to you you, you know find my whatever thing you know you know there's a find my function and they're saying that apparently the uh, phone was showing that the airport is like in our house or something and I'm like uh, no <laughs> we don't have any airports here um, so I was like, I don't know, so I was like, okay, uh, I was like, no, we don't have any, I don't know, the, the person was really, they, they were like really like kind of stressed, you could say that they were actually like kind of like, um, you know, they were, anyway, they, they were like, they wanted. They, they thought that, that that whatever that airport was in here, and I'm like, no, no, there's there's no such a thing. I mean, you know, how would you feel if someone came to your door, like you were just sitting in your house, someone comes, a stranger comes to your door and says, hey, uh, the my uh, phone is saying that the my airport is uh, should be in your house, and how would you feel if someone did that? Like, so I'm like, uh, oh. Uh, and I said, like, this house is my brother's house, and, um, uh, I don't know why I said that, I just, <laughs> I don't know why it's, it's my brother's house, almost like saying, I don't live here, this is my brother's house. <laughs> I guess because I couldn't handle this situation, it's like, why are you asking me this, man? What? So, he, this guy, this person was like, oh, I feel guilty like why should because this this they're actually suggesting that we what we stole his iPod or whatever I mean airport I'm like <sighs> okay anyways what I said was I uh, come back in an hour 
because I said my brother will come back and basically I couldn't deal with this I'm like oh, I just can't deal with this so I said come back in an hour and you know talk to my brother and they said okay I'll come back and I, I got so stressed out like I just got like oh, I just got so like shaken you know I was like so I called my brother uh, on the phone because I said hey someone came here they, they said that that uh, they I don't know they the, the airport is in a he, they said that this the airport is in a house or whatever and uh, I so I was like just you know I was in a not in a I was in a very uh, you know shaken up <laughs> situation and uh, I mean how would you feel if someone did that and um, you know I. I my brother says, oh, don't let anyone into the house. And uh, he said that he will call my dad and that my dad will come over. Um, yeah, my, my, my brother said, don't let anyone in, you know, because he's like, who knows who this person could be? Maybe they were trying to, you know, who the fuck knows who this person is? Um, then, um, you know, then my dad came over and he was like, he was asking me, what happened? And I'm like, I told him about this whole thing the situation and then my dad uh, so he, my dad stayed here for like uh, i don't know maybe an hour, more than an hour i think this thing uh, this happened uh, maybe around 6 p.m or something so my dad came over and but my dad had to leave at eight to pick my brother and uh, and uh my mom's sister is here as well she's also visiting uh, uh, Anyway, uh, so my dad stayed here and and I was like, oh man, I was hoping that that guy might come back like before my dad left because I didn't really even want to deal with this. So, but my dad left around eight and then shortly after my dad left, oh, I hear them knocking on the door. Okay, <clears throat> this time I didn't open the door. This time I went to, to, to the door and I, you know, the door was closed. And I just said, um, is it you? <laughs> and it was, yes. <laughs> I don't know. The voice was like, this person still thinks that uh, the airport is in here or whatever. I don't know. The, the, I can, even before they come to the post, I can hear them talking with someone. There's a car. I, I don't know. They hear, I hear some, you know, some animated discussions or whatever. I don't know what's what they're saying, but I, this is what I could hear, and so I said, um, so you know, I, I just said, you know, behind the door, uh, I spoke to my brother, and he said that, um, and I also, my dad was also here, and my brother said that um, if you have any issues, uh, you should go and contact the police, and um, that's what I said, because that's what my brother said. I did. He did. Uh, he actually, yeah, he said that. Anyway, uh, if I didn't mention, uh, I don't know when he said that, but he, I think he called again and he said that before this whole thing. Uh, so anyway, and, uh, when I said that, you know, uh, they said, "Oh, that's okay." I'm like, "What do you mean that's okay?" You know? But then uh, they asked me, "Did you look around?" And I'm like, "No, I didn't. Why would I look around when there is no iPod in?" The, airport and so I'm like why would I look around here you know why would I look around for something that how could that ever get into our house how does that make any sense how can that device enter into the house now I'm thinking did someone like today morning I was asking my brother hey, do you think we should go and check out in the backyard maybe someone threw it into the backyard or whatever I, and my brother said, no, just stop. Um, uh, anyway, so I said, no. And then they go, um, I'm like, no. Anyway, anyway, uh, uh, they, they were like suspicious. Because I didn't check, you got to be suspicious now. Anyway, so uh, then they left, okay. Um, all right, so that was like, did they 
Thursday, so that will be like Tuesday. And then, all right, so, and my dad said he's, he's going to get some kind of security thing where you can put a camera on, on the front door or in the backyard and you can uh, talk to people that way without having to open the door. Actually, they, they even, I think my brother got that stuff, security stuff, okay, but <laughs> this situation uh, caused something for concern. Okay, so, the, and yesterday... Okay, when I was, I was sort of, uh, I, yesterday I think I was taking a nap. Um, I was going to sleep or something, yeah. Was I sleeping? I don't know. I can't remember. Maybe I was, I think I was sleeping. Um, like late in the evening, the, again when my brother is visiting my mom. In fact, right now while I'm recording the video, they're visiting my mom. Because they go in the morning and they go in the evening. It's like 10, 30, 6 a.m. I think the visiting hours like 10 to 12 or something and then evening it's five to seven or sometimes five to eight I don't know. so um so uh yesterday i heard this knock and i'm like oh, fuck, who could it be i'm like oh, i really don't want to open the door maybe it'll just go away <laughs> like and i thought oh maybe it's that guy i don't want to answer the, the, the door and then i heard this um actually i heard the 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 bell ring first and then I, I waited, I'm like, oh, who could it be? I Actually, I thought it was my, um, when the bell rang, it was kind of weird because I thought it was my brother and them coming back um, because it was kind of late, maybe seven something when they came, I don't know. So I thought it was them, so I just lay there, oh, maybe they'll just open the door. But then I heard this loud bang, do, do, do. I'm like, it was a very, like, very, very fast bang, like, you know, knock on the door and we hear the security machine, I'm like, why is this why are you so aggressive <laughs> and um I thought, oh the way the i heard the bang i thought oh this is definitely my brother because who would uh, bang that fast uh, i thought they were being impatient or something and then i heard their uh, and i thought oh this is, why can't they open the door and then um because i thought it was still my brother and uh, my mom says oh whatever Muslim, my brother. But then I heard the uh, uh, the bell ring again, and I thought, okay, fine, I'll just go up and I'll open the door. But before I opened the door, I said, "Who is this?" I was, I just asked them before, the, "Who is this?" And I heard some noises, and I don't know, I couldn't understand what they were saying. But I thought this was probably my mom's sister saying something. So I opened the door, and I couldn't see. And then when I looked at, oh, they were like two police officers, right? So there's this tall guy, and then there's this you know, a woman, like, you know, a police officer, and, um, and I'm like, oh, I just like, you know, uh, uh, open the door, and then uh, they started asking me, like, um, like, I had, at this point, I didn't know what, what these people wanted, in the back of my head, I, I'm thinking, it doesn't have to do with the airport situation, <laughs> um, anyway, so, uh, and then they asked me, like, do you know if anyone goes to some school, they, they named a school. I didn't, I didn't get the name of the school. I'm thinking, no, no, no. I mean, no one in here goes to any school, uh, you know. And I'm, I said, no. Um, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what they kept, uh, asked. And uh, and um, and then they said, um, I don't know how, I can't remember exactly what the conversation went. But then they asked me, like, something about... Um, at, the, at some point, they got to this airport thing. I don't know. I, got, I don't know exactly how the conversation went. But then I said, oh, yeah, someone yesterday came to our house and they asked about this airport because their uh, phone was uh, showing the you know, location. You know, and they said, yeah, yeah. The, uh, yeah, that's so it was about that. And um, I said, um, yeah, I said, uh, yeah, well, uh, you know, um, we don't, that's the first time I saw this person. I don't know who they are. And, um, you know, I also didn't mention this my brother's <laughs> And because I'm like, oh, talk to my brother. In the, that's probably what I'm subconsciously thinking. And, um, you know, the, Anyway, what happened was uh, they just uh, wanted to ask, you know, they just asked me, you know, like, 
you know, I think the way I, 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 I'm interpreting when they ask me if someone goes to the school, I'm, I'm assuming that the person who came the other day goes to the school and my assumption is that someone stole their airport and it probably goes to that school and then these people, the police officers, are, when they ask me, does anyone who live here who goes to this school? I said, no, no one, go, you know, no one goes to that school. No one, no one here goes to the, any school. Anyway, I didn't say that, but I just said uh, no one goes to that school, even though I don't know the exact name, but I'm, you know, no one goes to that. No one lives here. Really. No one in this house goes to any school. Because the person, you know, I'm not going, I've not get, gone to university, but I'm, I don't think they're referring to the university. Um, anyway, so, um, so they ask these questions and, uh, yeah, they all, when I said the iPhone shows it here, and they said, yeah, yeah, it should. they said, yeah, it should. And then at the, uh, at the end of it, they said, oh, okay, maybe the, uh, you know, the location isn't always accurate, you know, maybe sometimes if you, could be the other house and I'm like yeah uh, yeah no. no I asked them like uh, but then they they, they they said that oh but I asked them at the end like uh, what's gonna happen now and they said oh nothing you know uh, you know we won't bother we won't uh, bother you anymore <laughs> like we won't they said that the, the police said okay but they just came to ask the questions and uh, you know, I, I told them, and they said, oh, we won't bother you anymore, and, and they left. And I uh, texted my brother, like, the police were here. They were asking about the iPods. And I'm like, what do you say? And I said, uh, well, let me just read the text. And, uh, so, why am I reading these texts? I don't know why. Uh... Yeah, yesterday at 7.58 p.m. I said, the police came here asking about the airport and uh, <laughs> that's, that sounds incriminating. I was like, what do you mean? Uh, the police came here asking about the airport and my, and my brother said, okay, and what happened? I said, asked, and, 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 and I say, asked if someone from a certain school lives here. I said, no, I told him about the, the guy who came here yesterday. Um, they said the phone might be giving inaccurate location. They left, said they would not bother us anymore. Um, my brother said, okay, I guess that should tell it. I, gave, I say, hopefully. Now, if someone looks at that and reads it in a very um, suspicious way, they would say, if I, my, my text, the police came here asking about the airport, that sounds like, that sounds like a guilty thing. You mean, you mean the police found out about the airport? Uh... <laughs> No, when I say asking about the police came here asking about the airport, what I'm saying, what I'm referring to, uh, the airport situation which happened the day before. When I say asking about the airport, it's not like because we have the airport, but I'm just referring to the airport situation. See, this is what was going in my mind. I'm like, Reading this text, someone can interpret this the, the like uh, I'm guilty or something. Uh, 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 and my brother said, "Okay, I guess that should settle it." And he's just saying <laughs> that should deal with this matter. And I say, "Hopefully, hopefully they won't come back." <laughs> anyway. So I'm just like so stressed out about this man. I feel like I like I feel like I have to defend myself. I feel like it's like the moment someone accuses you of stealing something. Well, I feel very like I gotta defend myself. I feel guilty. Like what do you mean? The moment someone and then the police come, they're like asking me all these questions. I'm like. No, we don't know this person. How would you feel if, if you were living in your house, all right, and some stranger comes to your door and and says, "Oh, well, I, I you know, my my I 
my airport is missing and my phone says that it it's here how would you let me ask you how would you feel if that happened to you how would you feel like and 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 the and then the police come over you know i guess they contact the police but whatever but and it's like i feel so like traumatized <laughs> I feel traumatized because I have a lot of it, obviously have a lot of anxiety and, and stuff. I'm like, so this is not a very pleasant experience. I hope something doesn't happen today. Tuesday, the person came. Yesterday, the police came. I hope, I hope today nothing happens. I'm going to the stupid airport anyway. <laughs> I want to know how much is this uh, causing me all this stress. Oh, this is so old. $279 for the third generation. So all this stress and anxiety for a $279 thing. The airport's second generation is $179. So gloomy um yeah so uh, <sighs> seriously i feel guilty like i feel like What do I do? <laughs> I don't feel like laughing. I always laugh because it's like a defense mechanism. But... Oh look, I got, I got the, the, see, I got the, I got two, two IMAX. One is a 27 inch, one is a 21 and a half inch, and I also got like a 24 inch I got. <laughs> so I got the IMAX, but I haven't set them up. Um, Just saw videos and <sighs> uh, no, <laughs> uh, no. <sighs> I feel a little unsafe here. Cause what if this person comes right up? And, I mean. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Why do I need this stress in my life? I just want—I just want not to have any of this stress. 